Red Bull's not happy about this situation. It's just a bad joke. Why, uh, why do you think it's a joke? Is this the same thing that people do all the time? They're like, uh, yeah, I hope your mom dies in a car accident and you're ugly and I hate you and I hope you die too. Oh, bro, it's just a joke, dude. I'm just joking. Like, what do you mean? It's just, it's just a joke. What do you mean? No, you don't just get to say something and people get mad about it. And then you don't just get to say it's, it's a joke. No. Like, that's not how it works. It's just a joke. It's just a prank, bro. Like, it's just a prank. Like, I, I just broke your window in your car. It's just a prank. Dude, relax. Jesus Christ. Like, get, get on... Get your head out of your ass. Okay? Just a second. This is disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting here. Look at this. Read this message. You are a fucking idiot. It's clearly a bad joke, you butthurt method fanboy. This is just... The people that use this language in our game. Okay. Sorry, Limit didn't win. I don't have a horse in this race. I don't give a fuck. We had to remove that person. We can't have that level of profanity and toxicity permeating our game and ruining it. Can't have it. It's disgusting. Read Esfahn's tweet. I think Esfahn's just trying to be uh, democratic about it. I think everybody knows that I think that I, I don't believe that they did it. I think they did it because they actually believe that method is viewbotting. I don't believe them. Sorry, I meant dip, diplomatic. Excuse me. Yeah, diplomatic. I don't know why I said democratic. Uh, yeah, uh, diplomatic. Yeah, he's just being diplomatic. Uh, no shit. Uh, no shit, dude. It's a joke. I don't think it's a joke. I I I just don't think so. Um, Twitter drama equals Twitch drama now. Well, I don't know about that. Red Bull casters were super salty when never method one, so it wouldn't be wouldn't surprise me. Uh, I I don't know about that, man. Uh, let's see. As we go, that goes SJW. All right, another word that means nothing because it's used by morons that just have no social skills. So social skills or social cues don't understand anything about social interactions and. You know, they just assume everything negative is a joke. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, SJW used to mean something. Now it doesn't anymore because you have these retards with no social skills that are fucking obnoxious, and they use SJW to call anybody whenever they get mad at them for being a jackass. I'm so fucking sick of this shit. It's like SJW used to mean something. Now it's just been watered down. It's been so watered down. I think that they actually thought Method was viewbotting. I do. Why does it say, uh, tweet say world first race? And so what I said is it seems like Red Bull needs to hire people who have at least some understanding of the community and space they're trying to be a part of. This whole world first race has really shown how out of touch and disconnected they are. Tally responds, they were never connected to begin with, which is why they should adhere to the advice and demands by the guilds they're sponsoring. They have to make a name for themselves in the community first to be uh, to be connected, and they failed at them. Viewbots donated 666 k Yeah, of course they did. Uh, so what the fuck is there? Focusing on 30,000 achievement points, not to drama. Well, I, I feel like I should at least comment on this, right? Because like, like Red Bull came into here, they wanted to monopolize the world first race, take the ownership away from the community, and use it as something to build up their brand. And as soon as the other organization says, no, we don't want to do that, now suddenly they're accusing that other organization of viewbotting. Fuck that. The fuck do you mean? Like, oh, don't worry about the drama. There's a time where drama is important. You have to say what the fuck is real. Tally replies to a sarcastic comment. Oh, Overwatch definitely used viewbots? Okay, guys. 
Let's let's lift the veil here. There are plenty of embedding services that you can either pay for through uh, direct or second or third party software uh, that allows you to embed your stream uh, into other websites and other organizations and other places, which artificially increase the view count and that are completely legal. This has been a thing for years. The odds are, if you want to call that view botting, they were probably both doing it. Do you really think that Red Bull didn't buy any embedding? Come on. They were both doing it. Uh, World First Race was hosted on so many different sites. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, give me a fucking break. Are you sure they didn't view bot, though? Are we sure they didn't view bot? So there are a number of ways that you can tell, in my opinion, if somebody view bots or not. My perspective on view botting is that if you are view botting, your chat will probably not move very fast, number one. Number two, the amount of active chatters will be very, very minimal. Number three, the reactions that happen in chat based off of what the casters or the content on the screen are going to be minimal. Uh, number four, the viewer count will not fluctuate wildly based off of the type of content. So for example, whenever Method does a really good pull on Ashara and their viewers go up by 20,000, did Method just turn on 20,000 more view bots? No, it's because people are excited to see what's going to happen and they're sticking around. There's a lot of different ways. And uh, imagine if Red Bulls was tweets uh, asked why the fuck Method's not getting 5k viewers. Well, yeah, exactly. Um, hypothetically, would someone uh, get $5 for view botting ads? I don't know, actually. Uh, view bots have badly generated names, too. Yeah, I'm sure there's that, too. But the point that I'm making, right, is like that. The viewer count fluctuation is something that's a very strong indicator of if a stream is being view botted or not. So if a stream immediately starts up and it goes from like zero viewers to 100, sorry, 10,000 viewers immediately, there was embedding or some form of uh, bullshittery that's going on, right? There is some form of bullshittery going on. That being the case, it's very easy to tell what's happening. Uh, can someone view bot someone else's channel? Yeah, they can. And yeah, obviously some like super, super serious like Method or Limit fanboy could view bot the channel so that channel would look better. But I think anybody who's stupid enough to think that probably wouldn't do it or didn't have the resources. Uh, embedding hasn't counted towards viewers on Twitch since 2018. I can't talk about some things because I don't know what's private and what's not. There's more to it than that. There's more to it than that, okay? You can say whatever you want. Yeah, uh, I, I don't, I, I forgot who told me this. I forgot whose confidence it was in. So I'm not going to repeat what I know. But there are ways that different streams can get more viewers. It's not just through embedding. It's a lot of different ways. Uh, so, so cost for sure and better viewership. Well, well listen, like that, the point that I'm trying to make, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that you guys, like, th there are plenty of examples of streams that, I, I mean, it's kind of obvious that, like, the amount of viewers that are, that, that are, that the red number doesn't, it, it is not indicative of the amount of people that are actively watching the stream. Right? I mean, come on. Give me a break, guys. So, in my opinion, so since so Sony said I might be jumping on a tweet, and uh, here, here's what I said basically. Up your right, press release that seemed written by someone who's never played WoW. Radiance of Ashara tweet implying that it was the last boss. See, it's already very clear to me that like the Red Bull people that do their social media uh, get salty very easily. How do I know that? Because of how they responded to the Radiance of Ashara thing. They were clearly mad. Like, it's very obvious to tell if somebody's mad on the internet, right? Uh, just by the way that they say things. Yeah, they were, they were obviously mad. And spell the Shara wrong? I don't give a fuck. Um, the, the point is still the same. Uh, okay, just a second. I'm not even going to worry about leeching instances. Bash. It, it's fucking, it's the last day of the, of the reset. Folks, up to the Eternal Raider. Already dead? Yeah, I know, man. To be fair, Method had 50k viewers before 1% pull, and they got more than 100k viewers. I still think Method wasn't view botting. But that was the same viewer account growth that they had in, in uh, Old Deer and then also in uh, uh, BOD, right? I mean, like, whenever they killed the boss, they had a huge amount of viewer account growth. Like, and it was very, very fast. 
because everybody was talking about it at that exact mo moment. And also, like, it's the same as even on my stream. Like, whenever I killed Gahoom for the first time, my viewer count went up like 20 or 30,000 people. So it's genuine because it's reflected in every single other race they've had and also in my own experiences. It's the same as whenever I did, uh, what was his name? Uh, Van Cleef. Like, my viewer count went from like 80,000 viewers to like 100,000 viewers because people were like, oh, fuck, it's about to happen. All right, it's the same thing. Um, let's see here. Uh, let me read the rest of the mineral handle method being as good as they are at, uh, and US sucking. I don't think it's really a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you can't prove view botting unless the streamer leaks it. Yeah, you, you can't view, prove view, view botting. But I think that there are certain ways that you can be pretty much certain, though. Uh, I do not think that method was view botting. Method might have had embedding on their streams, but I don't think that would count for that many people. Why is that? Because the viewer account fluctuated so much. And it fluctuated with the content that was being shown. So it's like, if your viewer account is fluctuating with the content that's being shown, that implies that people are making an active decision to watch or not watch the stream. Right? I mean, like, I, I don't know. It seems like obvious to me, but, you know, uh, I, I guess they don't want to think about that. So, I mean, Dom, for instance, uh, during the method stream once, I heard it was getting close. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's like people are talking about in their guild chat. It's like, even I was like, oh man, Method might kill it here. And so my friends in my guild were like, oh shit, are they going to kill it? And they went over there to look and see, right? It's very, very common. So I'm not even surprised about that. How do you feel about recent drama against Twitch on viewbotting? Top thread on LSF? I, I don't know. I mean, like, I, I find like the whole LSF thing to be a little bit weird. Uh, it feels like LSF doesn't like Twitch, which is like, it, it's kind of like a, a weird thing that... You, you get to the point where you you hate the website that you're constantly talking about. And it's like, obviously, like, Twitch doesn't care about LSF, right? It's like, how, how many people are, like, online right now? 18,000 people online on LSF. That's, like, one streamer, like, one larger streamer. Like, Twitch doesn't care what I think or what, you know, anybody else that gets, like, more than 18,000 viewers thinks. They, do, they don't care. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, so I, I don't think that it matters at all to them. Uh, it, it's just not a big deal. It's basically like it's it's a live stream like drama subreddit. That's basically all it is now. Uh, you see the post about you? Oh yeah. Well, no. If, if you want to get karma on LSF, make a hate post about me. That's all you need to do. There's a million different disgruntled people that I banned from my Reddit for being obnoxious and trying to make psychoanalysis uh, psychoanalyses of me, and uh, they were on LSF and they'll upvote the shit out of that. Uh, yeah, just make a hate thread about me. It, it's gonna go all the way to the top. Uh, I used to care about that kind of stuff, but I, I really don't anymore. Like, would I prefer that there weren't hate threads? Yeah, of course. But it's nothing that's really gonna make me lose sleep at night. Uh, it, it's, un, it's unfortunate that it happens, but uh, who gives a fuck, man? It's the way that it goes. Asmongold, bad. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what are you psychoanalyzing Twitch chat? Long seven? Yeah, I mean, but I, I think that there's... A big difference between somebody analyzing like something with like a million different people that are able to look at, right? Rather than analyzing a performance by an individual, right? It's like watching, like, I, I don't really act on my stream, really. I, I used to do a little bit more of that, but like now I'm basically just me. You know, I don't, I don't need to. Uh, I, I think a lot of other people that, as I said, are like mid-level streamers feel like they have to really adopt the persona and be somebody they're really not because they don't want to, you know, I, there's a lot of reasons why they want to do that. But I, I'm basically me nowadays. But yeah, obviously, like, the psychoanalyzing is annoying. And I think it's a big difference between, like, psychoanalyzing an individual versus, like, a group of people. Uh, I, I don't know. To me, it's, like, much more intrusive to do it to an individual. But uh, obviously, there is, like, a certain level of hypocrisy there. Yeah, sure. Uh, we love your vote. Your clips are never... Uh, no, uh, your clips are never that popular on LSF. LSF audience doesn't really watch you. Well, my, my clips used to be extremely popular on LSF. And uh, then I did, like, the whole Dark Souls thing. And they decided to, like, hate me after that. And so, like, that's... That's basically what happened, and uh, I think it's also just, as I said, like, people that are, like, part of, like, my old community that, you know, they, I, I think a lot of people, like, that they used to watch my stream, and they thought that I was a person that I wasn't, and then whenever I say, well, I'm not this person anymore, or I'm not this person at all, I never was, th they get upset about it. I mean, that's really what it is. And I understand that, I, I, I get it, but I, I think that the, the most ironic thing about it is people think that I've changed or whatever, and I'm like faking who I am or whatever, it's the opposite. I, 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 in a way, I can afford to be who I want to be now. I can be whoever I want, I can, I can just be myself. I don't have to pander or appeal to anybody else. 
I can just be myself. And if people don't like it, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm so happy and so thankful that I don't have to pander to Reddit. If I think something's stupid, if I think they're wrong, I say it. I, I just say it. I don't care. Um, like, as I said, I, I would rather not get hate threats. Of course, who would? But no, yeah, I mean, I, I'll, I'll never silence myself or not say what I think because I'm afraid of somebody making a hate threat about me on Reddit. Who cares? Uh, it's not a big deal. I used to worry about this all the time because this is the thing, right? I, I used to be a, uh, I used to not give a fuck about anything. Like literally nothing. Um, like I, I wouldn't care, like people would make hate threads, but I think it was funny, right? Like somebody has like a huge hate thread about me, like back whenever or before I was like, you know, doing my YouTube videos or anything. Like people would just like make hate threads about me. Everybody on the server would hate me. I think it was funny. And, and like for a while, whenever I was streaming, I got to this point where I turned into being a bit of a bitch. I did. I, I started getting upset about these things. I started feeling hurt whenever somebody would be, uh, you know, rude to me or whatever. And then I had to remember who I am. I'm myself. And I'm not sorry. So if you don't like it, fuck you. That's how I feel. That's all the way it's been. I've been this way my whole life. And I'm not going to stop now. It doesn't matter who's going to disagree with me or anything like that. 